This video is going to provide a couple examples for how to plot points and graph a line uh, within the Delta Math online system. This is where we have to solve for y. So for my students, what I want you to do is on a document, you need to show the work. You write down this original equation, 6x plus 2y equals negative 6. Then you're going to show your work on how you rewrite that into slope-intercept form, which we know is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope value and b is the y-intercept. So let's do that first. So we're going to subtract 6x from both sides, subtract, subtraction property of equality. So then we have 2y equals, remember that 0x minus 6x is negative 6x minus 6. All right. Now we want to get y by itself. We want 1y. So we're going to divide by 2, which you do one side, you must do the other side. You must divide every part by 2. So then we get 1y equals negative 3x and then minus 3. Okay, so let's be careful here. The number in front of the x, that's the m value, that's the slope. So we know that our slope is negative 3. And in this example, the y-intercept, the b value, is also negative 3. Well, we know the y-intercept is the ordered pair, the point, 0, negative 3. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to graph, we're going to graph this on, on delta math. You need, it says you need to put at least two points. So what I want my students to do is you're going to plot the y-intercept as your first point. So you're going to go down 0, negative 3. Boop, there's that point. And then we're going to use the slope to get another point. So since my slope is negative 3, I know that the line is going to be decreasing. So I can do, I can go up 1, 2, 3, and left 1 and plot that point. Or I could go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and then right 1, plot that point. Okay, once you've done that, you say done plotting points. It gives you the ruler here, and we're just going to draw our line. I kind of like that. So you practice actually drawing your line through those two points. And we're done. So then what we do is we just go down here and say submit our answer. Boom. Let's look at another one. We have 2x minus 6y equals negative 18. So again, we want to isolate x on one side. So let's subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. So then we have, be careful here, it's negative 6y equals negative 2x minus 18. All right, so now we want 1y, so we're going to divide by negative 6, division property of equality. And what you do to one side, you must do the other. And we're going to divide every part by that negative 6. All right, so now we get 1y equals, now be careful here, negative 2 over negative 6. Negative over negative is going to be positive, and the 2 over 6 is going to reduce to 1 third. So it's going to be um, positive 1 third x. And again, be careful again, negative 18 divided by negative 6. Negative over negative is a positive. And it's going to be 3. All right, so what's our slope? Slope is 1 third. What's our y-intercept? It's 3. And that's the ordered pair, 0, comma, 3. All right, so now we're going to graph this. We're going to go to the y-intercept first. 0, 3, plot that point. And now we're going to use the slope, 1 third, and it's positive. So we know our line needs to be increasing increasing going uphill as you look left to right so that means i either go up one and right three click there or i could have went down one and left three and click there all right and done plotting points and then we take our straight edge and we go right through it there's our line scroll down here and say submit our answer and we get the check mark and that's all there is to it for this uh, assignment.